Okay, we're back. We're done pressing all of our blocks. And this one has pinking on both sides and it is over the white area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna lay it on our block and we are going to line it up on to the edge of our white, of our background block. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to cut off the excess. So this part is excess. So we are going to cut that part off. And then we're gonna do the same thing, whether you turn it around or not, doesn't matter. You're just gonna line it up with the top of your background square and you're going to even out that excess. And I would recommend maybe getting two fat quarters of bundle one and bundle two and not doing the, not using the jelly roll because the jelly roll, the pinking shears can cause problems. So I suggest not using the pinking, not using the, the bundle but go ahead and just use the, um, just the fat quarter bundles that I showed you in the Joann's video where it was bundle one and bundle two. Use those, cut your own strips, and I showed you how to cut strips, and get two bundles, because if you get two bundles, you'll have 10 different fabrics. If you get one bundle, you probably can make this whole quilt, but you would not have a lot of variety of fabric. So I suggest that you get two bundles, and of just the fat quarters and have 10 fabrics and not get this and make your quilt from that. So that's my suggestion. Um, also, I'm not sure if I said, but I use 100% um, cotton thread and this is um, Coates and Clark cotton thread. Um, yeah, 100% cotton thread and I get this at Joann's on this big spool. So I would suggest cotton thread as well and square up all your blocks. And then the next video, I'm gonna show you how to lay it out before you start to sew it together. So come back for the next video and we will be laying it out and going from there. God bless, you have an awesome and an amazing day.